Hi guys. Since I promised when I was talking to you earlier that I would read you a story, here it is. Okay, my hair is really messy today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I need a haircut. <laughs> so today's story is called The Story. It's from Frog and Toad, Our Friends by Arnold Lobel. All right, here we go. One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green, said Frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green, even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. Toad made Frog a cup of hot tea. Toad dr Frog drank the tea and then he said, Tell me a story while I'm resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he couldn't think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Why are you standing on your head, asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Hmm. I wonder what else he could do. I don't know. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head, asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Maybe he's trying to wake himself up. I don't know. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall? asked Frog. I hope if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think I need a story anymore. Then get out of bed and let me into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Oh, I hope he doesn't start it all again. Maybe. Once upon a time, said Frog, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend the toad to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he still could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel so well and the frog was feeling better. So toad went to bed and frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, Toad? asked Frog. But Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Bye, guys.